Short-term price doesn't matter. We're talking about the greatest wealth transfer in history. We're literally watching everyone from individuals to corporations to financial institutions to now countries decide that they want a transparent, programmatic, certain monetary policy. It flies in the face of the existing system. We don't know what the next thing that's going to happen in the existing system is, and therefore that uncertainty leads to fear. And so what ultimately happens is that you are seeing people around the world, over 100 million individuals, now all the way up to countries, say, we need something that has certainty in the monetary policy. And when you have a fixed supply asset and there is ever increasing demand and over long periods of time, more and more people, companies, corporations, uh, financial institutions and countries come in and start to adopt it, the U.S. dollar price has to go up to accommodate it. It's the only thing that can happen if you believe in supply and demand economics. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. My name's Austin. That was, of course, Anthony Pompliano rallying the troops in times of uncertainty that Bitcoin is here to stay. You see, day-to-day, short-term price action does not matter if you understand the macro picture of what's happening here. Innovation with cryptocurrency is the biggest opportunity, biggest wealth transfer of a lifetime. Bigger than the California gold rush, which was regionally based. Bigger than the dot-com craze of 99, which was primarily siloed off to U.S. accredited investors only. Cryptocurrency, on the other hand, is global and innovation is happening. That's my opinion. I'm not a registered financial advisor, only my opinion. But in today's video, I want to update you with the innovation happening in cryptos today. Check the timestamps down below in the video description. And like always, let's start with Bitcoin. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey says it's only a matter of time before Twitter integrates the Bitcoin Lightning Network, which would obviously be huge. We know the Lightning Network is a second layer solution used to scale Bitcoin. And people are speculating that if integrated with Twitter, We could have Bitcoin micropayments on one of the top social media platforms in existence. Now, to keep things real, this is not happening anytime soon. But according to Jack, it is happening. Somebody commented to him on Twitter, will we ever be able to stream sats? Basically build the Lightning Network into Blue Sky or Twitter. Please and thank you. Jack responded, only a matter of time. I like it. Very cool. And by the way, just to clarify, whether this happens or not, because he, you know, this is far from a promise. He's just talking on Twitter. It's just nice to have one of the smartest, most respected tech minds. You know, who cares about his politics, but just tech minds. It's nice to have them team Bitcoin. I like it. I'm following. Okay, next piece of major news, a little partnership between Polygon and Zero X. Polygon is committing over $10 million to reach 1 million new users using the 0x API. So these are two cryptocurrencies partnering up. 0x is a sort of decentralized exchange protocol. Polygon, a layer two scaling solution for ETH. And the growth continues. In a direct quote from the CEO of Polygon, we're thrilled to work on the goal of bringing 1 million users to Polygon with 0x. The Polygon DeFi for All Fund will aim to further support developers and projects and build a robust and secure DeFi infrastructure with a 7 million commitment to the 0x DAO. And what I like about this is essentially this is a win-win. It brings new users to Polygon, new users to 0x, and the growth of both ecosystems continue. The network that is onboarding a large number of decentralized applications, I'm assuming this is referring to Polygon, aims to hit 1 million users through 0x's decentralized exchange liquidity aggregator API. Okay, I get it. They're both sort of opening up their ecosystems to each other in a sense. And to get specific, last month, 0x released a Polygon version API for its decentralized exchange liquidity aggregator, opening up the 0x API tool to the expanding Polygon market. The API allows major Ethereum-based DEX liquidity channels, including the channels most of us have heard of, integrate directly to Polygon. Big, big news. If you hold Matic, if you hold 0x, give me a huzzah down below in the comments. We'll see how this plays out. 
I'll keep tabs on this. Okay, next piece of major news for Ripple and XRP. Ripple proposes a massive XRP ledger upgrade to support DeFi and smart contract capabilities. Interesting. They want to be a smart contract platform in a sense, just like Ethereum, like Cardano. The company says this could unleash decentralized finance, DeFi, and smart contracts across the broader XRP ecosystem without decreasing the XRP ledger's efficiency. Now, that's a big change. Exactly how would this be done? Well, Ripple plans to accomplish this through the use of federated sidechains, according to David Schwartz, the company's chief technology officer. The sidechains would be connected to the XRP ledger by federators, which are pieces of software run by parties who operate validators on at least one sidechain. So this is not the main chain, but sidechains. And the sidechains would operate like their own blockchains, but XRP and issued tokens can move between them and the XRP ledger. Interesting. It would be interesting to see which dApps would prefer to be built and launch off XRP as opposed to the many smart contract competitors. But it's not all suns and roses, right? It, there is risks because this is a big change. In a direct quote, Making these changes is probably the biggest part of this effort because even though they won't be enabled on the main XRP ledger, there is still risk associated with changing the software. For example, some existing code may need to be moved or adjusted, which carries the risk of inadvertently changing behavior. So some code would need to be adjusted. And if this were to get in a spot where it would be voted on, any potential XRPL amendments require an 80% approval rating from the ledger's validators. And if an amendment stays above that threshold for two weeks, it is activated. So we'll see. Give me your thoughts on XRP down below. I'll keep searching. As I get more info, I'll keep you updated. Next piece of news for altcoin Algo, Arrington Capital launches a $100 million Algorand ecosystem fund. So this is a huge sign of support. Algorand Arlington Capital is run by the TechCrunch founder. And this is actually the TechCrunch founder's second crypto fund. Last year, he made a big bet on the XRP ecosystem. He says he's not abandoning that, but now he's focused on Algorand. This is Michael Arrington's crypto venture capital firm. And what the money will be used for the fund will help pay for investments ranging from non-fungible tokens to a partnership with the city of Miami to use Algorand in municipal, municipal projects, all in an effort to accelerate the development of Algorand's ecosystem. Give me your thoughts on this. I'm personally sort of neutral on Algorand. You cannot deny this is great news for Algo. And in a direct quote on his current stance, on XRP, because he used to be bullish, and he still is bullish on the XRP ecosystem. We are extremely loyal to Ripple and to XRP, and we believe in that ecosystem, but it's a multi-chain world. So good news for Algo holders. Let's keep going. Next up, very quick piece of Bitcoin news. It's official. Elon Musk will have no role in the Bitcoin Mining Council. And the story is sort of in the headline here. As we know, Musk had a problem with Bitcoin's energy consumption. Michael Saylor introduced him to a lot of the prominent North American miners. And after a secret talk, I guess nothing really happened. Michael Saylor is still a part of it, though. And you know what? I like Michael Saylor better. I'll say it. And in his tweet, he just describes what the Bitcoin Mining Council is. The Bitcoin Mining Council is a voluntary and open forum of Bitcoin miners committed to the network and its core principles. We promote transparency, share best practices, and educate the public on the benefits of Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining. I like it. All right, that's the video. My name's Austin. Like always, see you tomorrow. Have a great weekend, but I'll see you tomorrow. Short-term price doesn't matter. We're talking about the greatest wealth transfer in history. 